How's it going everybody? In this video I will be teaching you about the 74LS86 which is the Quad 2 Input Exclusive OR chipset better known as the XOR gate. This chipset contains a total of 14 pins of which its 7th pin is reserved for the ground and its 14th pin is reserved for the VCC. In it you will find 4 XOR gates each of these taking in two inputs and generating one output. In the bottom row, when holding the chipset upright, the first and second pins shall be for inputs 1A and 1B, followed by a third pin reserved for the output which shall be 1Y, which contains the resulting value from the Boolean algebra operation A times B prime plus A prime times B. This pattern continues throughout that side of the chipset in ascending order, meaning that following would be the 2A, 2B, and 2Y, so on and so forth. Of course, keeping pins 7 and 14, which, as I said previously, they are reserved. For the top row, right after the 14th pin, the 13th and 12th pin shall be the inputs 4B, 4A, and the 11th pin shall be the output for Y. The pattern continues through that side in descending order. Now I shall proceed to generating the XOR truth table. As we said, we need to establish the inputs which shall be variables A and B. And we shall also need the output which we shall tag with the variable y. And we will create an extra column for the comments. The behavior we can expect from the XOR gate goes as follows. Since we have to n equals 2 inputs, using the 2 to the n formula, we calculate that there are a total of 2 to the second, which equals 4 possible combinations or scenarios to handle. As you can see right there, a high output of 1 results if one and only one of the inputs is high or logic 1 if neither of the inputs is high, meaning that both of them are 0, a low output results. Likewise, if both the inputs are high, if both are logic 1, a low output of 0 shall result. Now we shall proceed by stating these combinations. The first one is when A is 0, B is 0. The second one is when A is 0, B is 1. The third one is when A is 1 and B is 0. And the last one is when both the inputs are high. Now, as we said, when one and only one of the inputs is high, then the output shall be high. Otherwise, the output will be zero, meaning that for a first combination, the output is low. For a second combination, the output is high. For a third combination, the output is also high. And for our last combination, the output will be low. Now, in the comments column, you shall see the Boolean algebra operation that's actually taking place. I will take that formula which you see in that variables row and I will plug in the actual inputs so that you can see and appreciate why those outputs are as I said before. Like we said, the formula is a times b prime plus a prime times b, and that will equal our output y. Since we have both inputs equal to low, we have 0 times 0 prime, which is 1, we got 0 times 1, that's 0, plus 0 prime, which is 1, times 0, which is also 0, so we got 0 plus 0, which equals 0. Now for a second combination. We have 0 times 1 prime, which is 0. That side of the equation will equal 0. 
and in the other side we have 1 times 1 because 0 prime is 1 so we have 0 plus 1 and if you watch the video of the OR gate or if you have previously worked with the OR gate when you have 0 plus 1 the output is 1 now for a third combination we have 1 times 0 prime 1 times 0 prime is 1 plus 1 prime times 0 1 prime is 0 so it would be 0 times 0 that part of the equation is 0 and we have 1 plus 0 which equals 1 and for our last combination we have 1 times 1 prime that equals 0 plus 1 prime which is 0 times 1 both of them equal 0 and 0 plus 0 equals 0 It is important to keep in mind that these inputs are variable, meaning that they can be representing any Boolean expression's output value. Now I shall open a logism simulation to demonstrate our truth table. Now this will be a very basic example. All I shall need are two pins for the inputs. We shall put them facing south. The label will be facing north. We shall name them A for the first one, and we shall need another one, but this one will be the B input, and we shall place it right there. The second thing we shall need in the gates folder, we shall look for the XOR gate, or the exclusive OR, which is one of the components inside the 74LS86. We shall place it right here. Now, since we stated that this chipset contains the quad to input XOR gate, we must modify the amount of inputs. That's one of the perks to using Logism. You can control how many inputs are entering the logic gate so that it matches your desired schematic we shall use an LED to display the output. The LED will have its pin facing west so it can connect with the chipset and now we shall just plug in the wires and proceed to testing all the cases. As you can observe when both of the inputs are zero the output is low meaning the LED will remain off. For the second case, we shall change the state using our index finger tool. When B equals 1 and A equals 0, the output shall be high because 1 and only 1 of the inputs was high or logic 1. Now I shall toggle it off and I shall move on to the third state. When A equals 1 and B equals 0, the output remains high. As you can see, it is bright red since it met the condition that we stated previously. Now, when both inputs are high, the output shall be low because we had established that exclusively one of the inputs had to be high. As you can see, even though this is a pretty basic example, it manages to prove our truth table which we presented earlier. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels for more videos like this. For any comments or questions, you may contact me on the following places. At Twitter, at Giovanni0918, or at Google+, Plus at plus Giovanni Orlando i7. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.